Hi guys, webinar number 10, counter-attack. Let's understand what it is. A counter-attack is a quick offensive play laid by a team that was on a defensive position. The idea is when we defend to get the ball back and as soon as we win the ball back, we want the players to start running forward in order to break the opposition block and create confusion in the defense. Look here how fast everyone is running to make sure that we can go fast as we can forward and then have the opportunity to score. First thing to understand is that the counter-attack starts in a defensive position. As a defender we don't only defend but we also need to anticipate the play. For that the key is patience and also be able to look at the safe spaces left in behind while defending and also look at what will be the options when I get the ball back. So here we will see that as soon as Fabinho wins the ball back, he will be playing very fast forward because the principle of the counter-attack is also that we do a quick decision but that we play fast and one two touches so here you see he'll win the ball back he'll play forward the striker will play one touch back for someone who has the game in front of him here you can see that cdb makes the run very fast and he stays wide it is important that we stay wide here you'll see a little bit later that also mbappe is very wide that allows the defense to be spread out or to force the defense to stay central and then that leaves spaces on the flanks okay so here we can see Mbappe so here now the quality of the pass is a key look at the pass and the right timing then the defenders Kepembe who was here covering Mbappe is too late the defenders are late and here we can have to go let's look here at the different steps of the counter-attack first we want to win the ball back second step is how we can go and play very fast forward. Here Kante has no options to play a pass forward, so to run with the ball is also an option. We can pass or run with the ball. Always we need support from the attack, which is the step number three. We want our teammates to be able to support, and this is why it is important that we all have the same mindset. Then we can play the ball. Okay, here we can understand that most of the time the end product is a goal, but can also be a penalty. So here, the defense is same. We will be defending and be patient enough to win the ball back. Again, here Kante is running, winning the ball back and he is going to make a quick decision to start the counter-attack. We will see that all the team is running fast forward and with the same mindset of playing forward. Of course, again, early decision and decision-making as usual is one of the key of the counter-attack. And... The other option is long balls. Okay, we can run with the ball, play fast, but long balls are also a key at the counter attack. And once again, the quality of the passes and the timing is a key to the success of a counter attack. So, to recap, the keys are early decision making, whether it's a pass or a run with the ball, and the quality and the timing of the pass, either it's a short or long pass. The other option is to start the counter-attack from the goalkeeper. Here the goalkeeper is playing a quick pass. It can be a long ball from the goalkeeper or a short pass. Here he decides to play a short pass fast to someone who has space. And again, one of the options is to run with the ball while our teammates are running fast forward to create themselves space. So here he's running. The defense doesn't know if they have to go and attack him or they have to drop deeper so then we have a good call from the striker and then we can go and succeed in the counter-attack to summarize a successful counter-attack requires anticipation discipline timing and a lot of cohesion within the team without forgetting the speed of play because this is the principle of the counter-attack is to be very fast while we run and while we move the ball to make sure that we can go through fast and not allow the defending team to come back and win the ball back. Thanks for watching. Please take some few seconds to answer the quiz.